What is up guys, I'm Tom and FC Evan and welcome to a brand new Liverpool Carrier Mode episode. Thanks for your awesome response on the first episode today. And because of that, I'm uploading a second episode. So hope you will enjoy. Our first game will be against Stoke City, away from home. Very difficult game in the rain. Let's do this, without Sturridge and Suarez, remember. Stoke City away from home is always a very, very difficult game because they are the most direct team in the Premier League. So we will have um, one hell of a task, especially as uh, Suarez and Sturridge are injured. So we are desperately unlucky on the injury front. And tomorrow I will be restarting my Ultimate Team series on the next-gen console PS4. So look out for the Road to Liverpool Ultimate Team series episode tomorrow. Make sure you don't miss that. Let's go! So this is the Stoke lineup. Kenvin Jones will be up front and I will be uh, very careful in defending because he is an absolute tank. So this will be the lineup that I'm going with Montoya, Saku, Agger and Johnson in defense, Shakiri and Coutinho next to Aspas who is our backup striker. He scored the winner in the 90th minute against Hull City in the previous game. Hopefully he can do the job again. Oh! Oh, they hit the post in the fifth minute. What a start by Stoke. Oh, no, it's a corner. I'm worried. No way. Yes, it's offside. Oh, thank God for that. They hit the post twice in the first, like, ten minutes. Unbelievable, Jeff. Shakiri finish it. Yes, yes, it's Jordan Anderson. He's an absolute goal machine. Look at that grin on his face. He's a goal machine this season. He arrives late into the box. Look at the burst that he makes. Brilliant. And the, the ball falls straight to him after Shakiri hits the post. Wow, that's such a relief. Stoke hit the post twice. We hit it once, but we finish it off. Great goal. Come on. No. Oh, no. Oh, yes. Great save, Mignolet. Well done. Oh, no. Oh, they hit the post again three times now. This is getting ridiculous. We need to ask Saidi. He, he can't play against us. Why does EA allow that? It doesn't happen in real life. So we make three subs. Sterling, Jaka and Moses coming on for uh, Coutinho, Jared and Shakiri. They are very, very tired. Let's see how the game maybe score another goal. No, no, no! Unbelievable! Peter Crouch with a towering header equalizes. Asaidi with the assist. I'm furious that he's allowed to play because he has been brilliant in the second half. I can't contain him. Oh, Crouch, of course he heads it in. He's like a freaking barge pole. Oh my god. Jaka! Oh no! Jaka is bad at finishing. That was a great chance. Clear it! Oh my god, Asaidi almost won it for Stoke. Such an absolutely frustrating game. We controlled the game brilliantly, but one Asaidi run and header won it for Stoke. To be fair, they hit the post three times, so I can't really complain. But when you are so close to winning the game, they had the better chances, yeah, the more chances. So can't really complain about the draw. But when you are so close to winning the game, it's so frustrating to concede the goal in the last 10 minutes. Oh well, let's move on. 
let's hope we can sign some players now. So guys, I have uh, a lot of news. Uh, Blackpool rejected our loan offer for Thomas Ins, so he is not for loan. I think when I later, when I have uh, more money, maybe I will try to sign him. We can't loan Rio Miyaichi as well because uh, Arsenal doesn't loan to a rival. How ironic that is after the summer Suarez saga. And uh, Aston Villa are thinking about loaning Gardner, so I think we can loan him. And uh, Martial, they rejected the 1 million future fee. So you know what? I thought uh, let's increase that to maybe 1.5 million. And let's see, or you know what, let's, you know what, let's, um, let's try and buy him outright, because uh, maybe they will, uh, maybe, maybe they will accept a, a lower offer if we want to buy him straight away, because he has a, he is a brilliant, brilliant talent. So Rubin Kazan said that they want 8.1 million for Jan M. Villa, and I think this could be our marquee signing Plus, they want that plus Skirtel. So let's offer them like maybe 6 million. And let's see if they accept. Sometimes they accept a little bit below, you know, below their asking price. But we really need another uh, center midfielder uh, next to Lucas and Gerard, who is like a real, real powerhouse. Oh, and bad news. Uh, Jesse Rodriguez recently moved to Real Madrid. So he, he can't be... He can't be transferred, but let's try and loan him. Maybe, maybe they will let him uh, to us uh, on loan. Uh, who knows? So let's see. Yes, guys, this is great news. Our first proper signing, Gary Gardner from Aston Villa, joins on a season-long loan, and we have the option to buy for seven hundred thousand, and that's a real, real bargain because, as you can see, his value is already more than that, and. He can improve immensely. So another center midfielder. I know we are overstocked on center midfielders, but on this formation that we are playing, we re we really need many uh, center midfielders. So let's accept the offer. Welcome to the club, Gardner. Win many trophies, and he could be, he could be maybe a replacement to Steven Gerrard in years to come because he has a brilliant shot on him. Yes, guys, such a relief. Suarez returns from his injury. <laughs> Absolutely brilliant news. So he can uh, play in the next game. Fantastic. Welcome back, Suarez. I hope you bang in the goals because we have crucial games in the FA Cup and the League Cup semi final against Man United coming up as well. Um, okay, so 4 million wasn't enough to loan uh, Jesse Rodriguez. I mean,. Uh, the, in the the future free so let's let's give them five million and let's see if they accept this uh, and uh, Jan and Villa they accepted that's what I'm talking about guys they accepted so six million plus Martin Skirtel and we can negotiate uh, a contract with him let's offer him 60k because he asks for 70k he's on 40k now so maybe he will accept 60k and the five year contract. This would be a huge, huge signing for us this season. He would improve our team immensely. So this is how the league table looks like. We are in the top four at the moment, but only by a point and Everton have a game in hand. So the league looks really, really tight. And the problem is that Tottenham and Man United are already racing away. So at the moment, the best position that we can hope for is third place. But to be honest, I'm still building this Liverpool team up. Uh, we haven't really signed many players yet. We, can, we only have Shakiri and Montoya, who are not uh, like first team regulars. And this is how the top scorer chart looks like. And I'm really, really happy that Suarez is back. And Sturridge is coming back very soon as well. So... If you want to see two episodes tomorrow and an early upload, get this episode to 200 likes because there are some epic, epic games coming up. Capital One Cup semi-finals, two-legged semi-final against Man United. I'm really looking forward to that. And also we start our FA Cup journey. Don't forget, that, guys, that we promised the board a domestic cup win, so we have to win either the League Cup or the FA Cup. Thanks for watching. I really hope 
that you enjoyed this uh, career mode episode leave a like it really helps me out thanks for watching guys see you later goodbye welcome to the first round of the capital one cup and we are playing against light Orion. and lots of you guys uh, commented on the previous episode that the gameplay was a bit blurry and i looked into it and my capture card was in the wrong resolution so now i think it will be much clearer much better the gameplay looks much smoother